The protest movement in Israel has reached new heights. Hundreds of elite reservist soldiers have held their promise by not showing up for duty on Sunday over the government's plan to overhaul the judiciary. In a letter, 650 volunteer reservists from military special forces and cyber intelligence units said they were now refusing call-ups. We have no contract with the dictator. We would be happy to volunteer when the democracy is safeguarded. And more consequential still, they're also being joined by over 250 Israeli Air Force reservists who won't be reporting for training this week. A move that could have a huge impact on military operations, given the Air Force's heavy reliance on reserve pilots. I expect the Army Chief of Staff and the heads of the branches of the security services to aggressively combat the refusal to serve. There is no place for it in public discourse. A state that wishes to exist cannot tolerate this sort of thing. But in the past few weeks, reservists, including pilots, have been showing increasing determination to contest the reform, culminating in the boycotts. They're flying and say, we will not fly airplanes in this particular dictatorship uh, environment. And this is putting a lot of pressure on the decision makers. This kind of insubordination would have once been unthinkable in a country whose military is one of its most trusted institutions. It underscores the extent of the divisions over the overhaul, which would sharply curb the power of the Supreme Court and give government control over appointing judges. While Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu argues the changes are needed to correct a power imbalance, Critics have described the proposals as a threat to democracy that could endanger the upholding of fundamental rights and foster corruption. Protests have been going on for 11 weeks now, with huge crowds rallying in Tel Aviv again on Saturday to voice their discontent.